In this video, we'll show you how to activate a Syncon lock with all three modes, Bank, FLM, and Route. The activation of Syncon locks is a joint effort between a software user and a lock user. This video only shows the steps for the software user. Depending on how you are using Syncon, certain information must be predefined so it's available for selection during the process of activating locks. If you plan to activate locks in bank mode, you must first define the bank branches to which they will be assigned using the bank branch report. You must also add at least two bank users in the locks assigned bank branch. If you plan to activate FLM or route mode, you must add at least one lock user of that mode to dispatch when creating the lock activation key. If region control will be utilized, you should first define your regions using the region report. If you plan to assign a customer ID to your locks, you need to define the customers using the customer report. Now let's start activating the Syncon locks. From Syncon's main menu, click on Activate Locks. Press Add Lock for each lock serial number. This creates an entry in the lock list and automatically fills in a default value for the lock name. Select a row in the list of locks and enter the numeric serial number for the lock. This can be found on the original shipping box or by powering the lock and then pressing pound 2. Optionally, you can update the lock name. Select the desired mode from each of the drop down list boxes. FLM, route, and bank modes can be activated from this panel. A choice of single user access would mean that the lock will require only a single combination and personal identifier key to open the lock. If dual user access is chosen, the lock will require two combinations and two personal identifier keys to open the lock. If desired, enter data about this lock or ATM in the remaining description fields. If you're activating in bank mode, Follow these additional steps. First, select a bank branch name. Click on the Bank Users tab. The Bank Users list displays all of the users in the selected bank branch. Add the desired users to the selected users list. Remember, you must select at least two users who do not have time window restrictions. The Apply User Selection to All Bank Locks checkbox automatically sets the bank users for all the bank locks being activated to the users in the list. This includes users that have already been assigned to individual locks. If you do not check this box, the selected users are only assigned to the currently selected lock. Select the Test Open mode. This specifies the type of user being dispatched to test that the lock can be opened after activation. If the lock is not being dispatched to test activation in bank mode, you must dispatch a specific FLM or route user to open the lock the first time. Click on the Browse button from the User Report to enter the username. Enter a region designation for the lock if the region control function is turned on and the logon user has a global region designation. If the region control is off, the region field is optional. The lock time zone field will default to the time zone setting of the PC. If the lock being activated will be located in a different time zone, this field can be modified. Once you have reviewed your data, insert a red SA key into the reader and click on Activate Locks. The system issues the combination that will open the lock the first time after the lock activation process is successful. The one-time combination and SA key can be issued to the lock users who will be activating the lock. This concludes the activation of a Syncon lock using the new Syncon 5.0 software. For complete details, please refer to the Syncon 5.0 reference manual available at www.kaba-mos.com.